Martins and Baba Miller for Florida State doing the honors at the midcourt stripe. Underway here in Tallahassee, Florida State controls the opening tip. It'll be Jalen Worley, the starting point guard, bringing it up into the half-court set for Leonard Hamilton and the Knowles. They'll swing it to the corner. And now reverse it back to Worley. with the skip pass back to the point guard Worley. Worley in the paint, puts up the floater, gets his own miss back and kicks it up top to Watkins. Logo three, green at the buzzer. Wow. It's gonna go down, I believe, as a shot clock violation. Florida State thinks they beat the buzzer, and I believe we're gonna have a quick monitor check to see whether or not that shot is good. I think they almost thought it might have been a shot clock reset at first, obviously not the case, and then Derek Green from the logo, able to splash it, but we'll go do a quick review all right away. I was gonna say, welcome to Tallahassee, yeah. everybody. One shot, one review, here we go. And right away though, I mean, a, a good opening possession, it felt from Florida State, everyone was getting a touch here, passing around, not the best look you wanna see at the end of it from Jalen Worley, but we'll see what the official review is gonna come up with. Darren Green got that off the time. As the officials continue to look at the monitor, this is a game that was scheduled initially to start at 4 p.m., but with the Seminoles taking on Georgia in the Orange Bowl, both the Bisons and the Seminoles agreed to move tip up to noon. And the call on the floor will stand. It's going to be a shot clock violation against Florida State. We'll take another look. Yep, ball's just on the fingertips of Green as he releases. Good call by the referees on staff. Quickly off the inbounds, Will Pruitt lays it in in transition. This is a Lipscomb starting five. You see it on your screen, but more notable, who's not in that lineup without Darren Boyd and also without Jacob Oknakovic, who has been one of the leading scorers for some time in the A-Sun. Yeah, Oknakovic was a all-conference player a season ago. There he is right there. And on the other side, Darren Boyd. I mean, he's been phenomenal early on in this season. 17 points per game, a limitless scorer can score on all levels. Well, Florida State's first three of the game was wiped off the board due to a shot clock violation. They come right back down into the half court set, and Jameer Watkins does the honors, and the Knowles lead by one. I mean, you talk about guys that have been coming up big. How about that transfer from Florida State and Leonard Hamilton? Jameer Watkins has been incredible in this early season. Speaking of transfers, there's Owen McCormick, a transfer from Presbyterian, on the turnaround to put Lipscomb back out in front. Another guy that could be key for Lipscomb today, a pick and pop, big man down low, can shoot the three ball well. He's gonna stretch out those Florida State bigs and hopefully open things in the lane for those driving guards. Everybody for Lipscomb is plenty capable of shooting the basketball, including their bigs. Meanwhile, for Florida State, off the dribble penetration from Jalen Worley, he kicks it to the corner for Baba Miller. Yeah, Jameer Watkins has been great this season early on. A little bit of a hesitation, doesn't think, shoots it up. Jameer, great for three, 35% for him. Second on the team in points, so he's been what an addition for Leonard Hamilton's crew. Foul on the floor called against A.J. McGinnis, the junior out of Huntsville, Alabama. So Florida State gets a fresh 20. From the wing, Baba Miller penetrates into the paint, lost the handle, got it back in the corner. Here's Deontay Green working on McCormick and learn a trip to the free throw line. Deontay Green, a guy that is Coach Hamilton will come right out and say it. He's playing out of position. Florida State has dealt with a whole host of injury issues for the better part of the last two seasons. That has continued this year with injuries to Cameron Fletcher. He's likely out for the year. And Cam Corrin, who Coach Hamilton told me earlier today, a game-time decision. We might see him, we might not. But Deontay Green has had to fill some holes, even in positions that are not necessarily the most natural for him. Yeah, I mean, you love Deontay Green's story, too, coming last season. They're expecting him to redshirt, and then he ended up coming back early healing up there's cam core not sure if we'll see him today but green's been good he got play earlier than he expected in his career and and he's going to be an important factor in this game tonight florida state is dominant down low with the height that they have compared to this lipscomb team they're going to have to penetrate down low and use that height to their advantage 
momentary delay here in Tallahassee. It looks like A.J. McGinn has had to uh, apply some solution to, I'm guessing, a contact. He had the, uh, the eyedropper out, and now they're going to sub him off the floor and bring in Cody Head. Deontay Green missed the first of his free throws. He'll split the pair, made his last six. In fact, was perfect from the free throw line in the Knowles win over Winthrop. It's one thing, though, Sean, to watch for Florida State today. That's a, that foul from Jameer Watkins at the logo. But free throw shooting, only 67% for the season for Florida State. You want to see that number get up a little bit, especially as you get into close games come conference play. And as we get later into the season, free throws are going to win games. split his pair of free throws. That's good enough to tie it early on here for a piece. On the back cut action, there's Jalen Morley getting in those passing lanes for Florida State. Nice kick to the wing. Watkins, plenty of time, sets the feet, lets it fly. It's strong and batted around. Morley, how about that effort on the offensive glass? Here it is right away. You see the length just to the advantage. And again, Derek Green hustling where Florida State can take advantage down low on the glass, get some second chance points. Decided size advantage for Florida State here over Lipscomb today. It's something that the Bisons head coach Lenny Acuff told us early and often was going to be a concern for them. He said, we're just going to have to battle our hearts out on the glass against these Knowles here this afternoon. Pruitt the hesitation, now kicks it back out to the logo in the corner. High screen action here for the Bisons. From the elbow, he'll learn a trip to the free throw line. That's Pruitt. Good job from Pruitt to draw the foul, but on the other side, good job from Jalen Worley just to intercept as Florida State does so well. Get down low, get the steal, and then on the offensive glass, able to finish. Will Pruitt comes into this game a 75% foul shooter and makes the first. Lenny Acuff describing Will Pruitt, the junior from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, as the blue guy of this team. He said he's been a winner since he was in high school. He continues to be a winner. He doesn't think he's had a single bad practice over his four-year career. <laughs> Yeah, Pruitt, a great leader for this squad. A 6'3 guard, leads this team in rebounding as well. He's a Swiss Army knife, as he said. He really does it all. Phenomenal up top, knows this system better than anyone. Zone defense here by Lipscomb. Florida State gets into the middle of that zone. Some interior passing, and Pruitt comes away with a steal. I see Jalen Ganey just take that up strong right there. Into the wing, McGinnis short on the three ball attempt. Florida State clears the board. It comes out with Bob Miller. Into the corner, Darren Green Jr. Quick trigger, Darren doesn't need much space for him to let it fly. One of the best three point shooters in the country. Florida State coming off of a defensive oriented game against Winthrop right before the holiday break, scored 67 in that six point win. 30 of those points, though, came from the free throw line. Already nine quick points, a couple of threes for the Knowles here early on as that foul against number 15, Dylan Faulkner, sends us to our first media break. The homestanding Seminoles lead it 9-6 through the first four minutes at the Tuck. Losing the fear of looking foolish comes with age. Losing your way in your own home doesn't. Learn the warning signs of Alzheimer's. Some things come with age. Some others don't. USAA? Yeah. They have awesome rates on coverage for our car, home, and stuff. She has a lot of stuff. Dad. A lot of cool stuff, honey. But USAA also has banking, credit cards, and loans. Plus advice and other perks. Only for emergencies. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and it's all in one spot. So we know she's all set because we've got USAA. USAA, more than you might think, for the military community and their families. In the wilderness, fearless and 
human. Sauvage. Elixir. Dior. Students. Students of any age, from anywhere. Students in a new kind of classroom. Using our technology to power different ways of learning. Harnessing AI to plant new beginnings. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. My dad was a farmer. The guy was bigger than life. He wasn't someone that liked to show his emotion or liked to show when he was struggling, but we all struggle. I want to show emotion to my kids. It's something that brings me so much joy and I want them to see me working through things. Allow your kids to know that it's okay to struggle, that even dad doesn't know the answer sometimes, but we're gonna figure it out together. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, it's checked by experts. Every stitch, Back here in Tallahassee with Florida State leading by three, courtesy of Darren Green Jr. Made a three from the logo to get this game started, but it was called a shot clock violation. He said, no problem, I'm just gonna casually make another one in the first five minutes. And this is what he's done over his career. He's the seventh in D1 amongst active players in terms of three-point field goals made. He's averaging at about 40%. Yeah, that's the second time in his career he's been at that number. What an exceptional number to be at, 40% as a three-point shooter. And, and, and I said it before, one of the best in the country is Darren Green. He's off to a good start early this season. Almost two threes in every single game he's played this year. And as quick of a trigger as it comes from behind the arc. He's been particularly hot of late. Now, Florida State, again, as I was mentioning right before that break, as that'll be an over and back violation against the Bulls. Nothing particularly offensively hot against Winthrop, so like everybody else, Green wasn't shooting the lights out necessarily, but did make a couple of threes against Winthrop in that contest. But in general, over the last five or six games, he's been averaging right around 14, 15 points and shooting well north of 40% from the perimeter. Yeah, he's been great. I think as Primo Spears gets back into this rotation and lineup, I think it's gonna open things up even more for Darren Green. And as those bigs get up, get operating a little bit more down low too, just creating more space for Darren on the perimeter to get some good open shots. Lots of passing there by Lipscomb. And at the top of the key, their big man, Asman took the extra step and is called for the traveling violation. Florida State sends their freshman Taylor Bull Bowen into the equation here. Now on the pick and roll action, Jalen Ganey lost the handle down to the low post. Still waiting to see Jalen Ganey get back to the Jalen Ganey. We saw it round when he was so dominant in the Ivy League down low, but also on the defensive end. I think he's still just getting back to it off of that knee injury. He's the Ivy League leader in career field goal percentage, just shy of 70%. And there's Darren Green Jr. splashing one in from the mid-range. Yeah, not only can he hit three, Sean, he can do it from the mid-range as well. Phenomenal score is Darren Green. Four-point lead now for Florida State. They've made each of the last three from the floor. Meanwhile, Lipscomb's without a field goal in the last three and a half minutes. Here's Faulkner trying to change that. In fact, he will. Nice baseline drive by the freshman, Dylan Faulkner. And that's going to be a recipe for the Bisons today is you got to get some drive and kick opportunities. That's a good cut on the baseline from Faulkner, able to finish it off. Down to two, Watkins skips it to the corner. Taylor Bull, Bowen will pull the trigger and the freshman is short on the three ball attempt. Asman clears the board. It's his ninth attempt for the season for Bull Bowen, but love to see him stretching his game a little bit more the perimeter. Again, has thought about pulling the trigger on a trailer. Instead, brought it back down and dribbles it out top of the key. In the corner, it goes to Anderson. Now back up top to Pruitt. Line that one up pretty well, but it was strong. And that's a good look right there. Driving into the heart of the defense just opens things a little bit up for Pruitt to give him enough space to shoot. That's one thing that Acuff said today. They need to get around 12 to 14 threes to feel confident in winning this game. Florida State, though, has been the team that's filled it up from the perimeter early on in this one. Jalen Ganey 
on second effort will earn a trip to the free throw line for Florida State. Another look underneath, Jalen Ganey fighting hard. Sean, we were just talking about this. Five offensive rebounds already for Florida State to none for Lipscomb. That was going to be a problem coming into this game for the Bisons and how they were going to operate under the glass or on the glass with this length of the Seminoles. A chance to add on to what's already three second chance points in this game for Florida State. Jalen Ganey, as we talked about, is a transfer from Brown University, two-time Ivy League Defensive Player of the Year. Missed last season with Florida State due to a knee injury, so he played in their international games in Canada, then had a knee injury, did not play last year. And it's notable, too, that a couple of years ago when the Ivy League decided after the pandemic they still weren't going to play basketball, he didn't play that either. He's played one year of basketball in the last three seasons. Yeah, he was considered one of the portal prizes a season ago. It's just unfortunate he had to go down with that knee injury. But again, he's just still coming back to his own, right? Just got to feel comfortable on that knee, back to the style of play that he knew so well in the Ivy League. Pruitt lost the handle. It's a turnover for Lipscomb. Now back the other way comes Florida State. The lead still two for the Knolls. Cam Corn, we mentioned he's a game time decision. He is on the floor for the Knolls, number three in white. And there's number 23 in white, Primo Spears, a new addition for Florida State with the NCAA allowing two time transfers immediate eligibility. He's made it count. So boom, right there, Sean Lipscomb with a great answer, but that is the recipe for the Bisons today. Drive into the lane, draw all the attention, right out to the corner, wide open three, that's cash money. And that's Cody had a player that Coach Acuff is particularly high on. He loves that freshman and what he projects to be over the course of a four year career. Jackson, dribble penetration off the wing. That's a smooth looking stroke for Chandler Jackson. One of a few guys who's run the point here at Florida State calling his own number. Yeah. Not really known for his scoring as Chandler Jackson, more of a bulldog on both sides of the ball, but a good finish nonetheless at the elbow. Head off the three, now with the right hand all the way to the basket. The freshman, Cody Head, starting to get it going here in this first half showing out for the Bison so far. <laughs> Here he comes again. Head off the steal with the right hand, lays it in, and one. Talk to him, Cody, how about that? Good finish underneath. Good little scoring stretch thus far for Head, takes it right himself at two. Florida State defenders up and in, good finish. Many things that Coach Acuff bragged about with Cody Head. He described him as a really good north-south driver, I guess. Listen, you just saw it right there. They're missing their best north-south driver and Darren Boyd, so good at getting to the cup, but Cody Head showcasing it for us right there. Baba Miller kicks it back out top from the low post. Now Florida State. Welcome back, Cam. Well, there he is. I guess he is playing today for the Seminoles. There's a great pick and pop up top. Just rolling off it nice and easy. Cam Corrin able to finish it. Florida State has made six of their last eight from the floor. Anderson coming to the jump stop. Now goes down to the baseline. Faulkner gets the roll. Baseline cuts are causing some problems early on for Florida State. Guys are getting open, they're getting lost on that back door. Excuse me, that was Rylan Houck, one of another handful of freshmen as Miller goes off the glass. Davidson, kicking to Colt McCormick. There he is, almost a 40% three-point shooter as McCormick. You love to see that from your 6'9 big. He's got three three-pointers in each of his last two games. He's been hot as of late, looking to keep it going. Timeout on the floor here at the Tucker Center. 
But just a few moments ago, an emphatic return for Cameron Corin in his sophomore season as a Seminole. The alley-oop dunk for number three in white, and Florida State has plenty of work to do here in the top. Greatness is a feeling. Fearless. Brotherhood. Greatness is more than winning the game. It's changing it. Touchdown! Greatness is what we do. Accomplish greatness. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you. Not one based on whatever this person is doing. Get a rate based on you with DriveWise and the Allstate app. I have 1,549 catches, but my best catch, NFL Plus. I catch live, local, and primetime games on my phone. I catch the NFL Network. And I catch every touchdown every Sunday afternoon on NFL Red Zone. Hi, everyone, and welcome to NFL Red Zone. Scott Hansen here. Fire Are you using that? Start streaming NFL Plus today. Plans start at $6.99 a month. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Bye, bye, bye. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. Uh, coming to you from Frost Way. With a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Students, students of any age, from anywhere, using our technology to power different ways of learning. So when minds grow, opportunities follow. Well, we showed you Cam Corn's fireworks and his return to the floor for Florida State. He's missed the last five games with a toe injury, Jack on the season averaging nine and a half points per game shooting north of 50 percent from the floor last played against the university of georgia which interestingly enough his dad richard corin played for the bulldogs himself um and so great to see cam back on the floor making an instant impact oh no doubt and, and seminal fans gotta be happy he was off to a hot start in the beginning of this season the first four games in double digits for the big man down low want to see more play and more development for him as the season goes through and that last dead ball in the action here came off of a Cody head foul. That'll be a foul called likely against Bob Miller for Florida State. So the goals trailing by three. We'll go back to work on defense. Bulls have made four of their last five. Lipscomb, meanwhile, has made each of its last five. Here's Houck, one of several freshmen coming off the bench here for the Bisons. That's a turnover. Here comes Primo Spears, Florida State looking to run. Nickelberry from the wing. Davidson. And Houck knocked away by Chandler Jackson. It remains with Lipscomb for the moment. Again, just showing how active these Florida State defenders are in these passing lanes, constantly getting their hands up and anticipating where that pass is going to go and just clogging the lanes. It makes it so hard for a team like Liscom to play that style of basketball. They want passing it among the perimeter. Pruitt trying to find somebody to get it into and he makes a great decision. 
excellent work off the inbounds play. The freshman Dylan Faulkner driving all the way to the basket and a five point lead now for the Bisons. Good move from the freshman, aggressive, no hesitation right to the cup. Already five points for Faulkner, who had 12 and nine rebounds earlier this season against Wofford, one of a few different NCAA tournament caliber type teams that they have played. Corn from beyond the elbow. That's one thing we, we opened with it too, Sean. This Lipscomb team could very easily be 10 and four right now. They lost a close one to Arkansas and Belmont a couple of weeks ago, but this is a team that's primed to make a run in the ASUN into the postseason. To your point, just a one-point loss to Belmont in a, what's really a crosstown rivalry there in Nashville, Tennessee. The two campuses just a couple of miles apart. And then, of course, going to Fayetteville, Arkansas, they trailed by roughly as many as 20 and came roaring back and had some chances late, but weren't able to capitalize. They ended up losing that by three. Primo Spears getting in on the act. Another mid-range jumper, this time for Spears. Spears is so silky from the mid-range. He's able to create space with his dribbles. Pull up with ease. Big offensive rebound for Lipscomb. Second chance opportunity. Anderson, nice move to the basket. Anderson, the transfer from Furman. Such an improved player. So much praise from Lenny Acuff talking about Anderson. A little bit more veteran presence as well for this Bison squad. That Furman team last year won the Big South and went into the NCAA tournament and knocked off the Virginia Cavaliers before losing to San Diego State in the second round. San Diego State, for their part, went on to the national championship game. Swings it to Pruitt. Pruitt nearly lost the handle, poked away. Faulkner comes up with it. Anderson left alone, top of the key. Good look for the Bisons, but Florida State comes away with the rebound. Primo Spears talking to his big camp court, telling him to get down low. He does just that, wants to get the pace going, not play as much in the half court. This is a Florida State team that wants to play fast, up tempo. Nice feed from Spears to Korn. Korn now has four. Deep three, head, got them all. Have yourself a day, Cody, head. 11 points in this first half, lead in the game. Largest lead of the game for Lipscomb. Jack, Cody, head is perfect from the floor. Oh, head is balling right now. Lipscomb taking a lead early on. They're gonna try and keep it here in Tallahassee. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm está ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. Ay. Tan linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien, 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 hijita. Pasa. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Look at you. A force to be reckoned with. No, not you, Saquon. Huh? Um, not you either. You! You have a business bank account with QuickBooks Money, now earning 5% APY. Did he say 5% APY? 5% APY? Hmm, that's new. Yep, QuickBooks makes your money work as hard as you do. That's how you business differently. Intuit QuickBooks. It's your Uncle Cooper. These Cooper and Doormaxes aren't just tough. They're everyday tough. Okay, there's a lot of improvement. Go with the Coopers. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my love. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Coming to you from Frost Way, with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. People want to define Gen Z, but that's our job. I wait tables. Philosophy, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. 
I serve. Well, I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. All right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, oh Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Well, whatever you would imagine being a true freshman on the road at a Power 5 school might stir up in somebody, it has summoned quite the opposite in Cody Head, who's been fantastic. Oh, fantastic is almost an understatement for the freshman. He's coming off a career high 14 points a game ago versus Brian, where he shot 85% from the field. He's perfect early in this one. He's looked great. And that's what happened, Sean. If we take a look at the roster breakdown, you're losing without your top two scorers, and you're not without Darren Boyd, and that allows players to step up. Now Cody Head's getting some more pivotal minutes for the Bisons, and he's certainly taking advantage. And you mentioned the two starters out. This is a Lipscomb program that won 20 games last year. They were bringing back four of their starting five, but as you mentioned, two out for the moment, and so it shuffled the rotation and so Coach Jacob told us before the game, he said, we're one of the few teams in the country that the first four guys we bring off the bench are all freshmen. He said, but we're committed to the young guys and we like where we are. Oh, absolutely. They've looked great early on and without Boyd over this stretch of four or five games, they've been in. We, we mentioned the Belmont game. That's where Boyd went down and even the Arkansas game. They were without their top two scores, yet they're still competing. It just shows the potential this Bison squad has. Faulkner and uh, and Head have combined for 16 of Lipscomb's 29 in this one. Faulkner himself was actually called for the foul there. That sends Deontay Green to the free throw line. Second trip to the line in this game for Deontay Green, who split his previous pair of free throws, averaging just north of seven points per game to this point in the season is Deontay Green. Good looking free throws there. It's a four point lead now for the Bisons. Anderson, the point guard. Kicks it to Pruitt, now they swing it around. Pruitt driving all the way. What a good looking shot. Right up, bump the shoulder down low. Need to come back the other way. It's a good look for Florida State off the shot fake. Foul called on the floor underneath the basket after the Darren Green Jr. miss from the corner. If you're Florida State, that's the look you wanted though. Absolutely, that's the man you want to shoot from anywhere on the court. But another man that's been balling for the Bisons, Will Pruitt, good take to the cup, strong finish. Six-point lead with six left in the opening half for Lipscomb. Pruitt working on the baseline. Florida State brings the double. Baba Miller nearly got in the passing lane and came away with the steal. Anderson's three-ball attempt is short. That's a big offensive rebound for Asman. Knocked away for the moment by Darren Green Jr., but Lipscomb controls possession. That's where one Leonard Hamilton's not going to be happy about. The swap for Green, unfortunately, called a foul for him. But there were three Florida State defenders underneath, and one Lipscomb man able to come away with that rebound. Here's the spin from Asman, try to throw it up. Good job from Deontay Green to stuff it away, but it'll be two for 35. Asman, a sophomore from Kimberly, Wisconsin. A guy who Coach Jacob describes as being elite on defense, a really versatile defender. A guy who can guard multiple positions and 
has good presence on both sides of the floor for the Bisons. He's a 50% foul shooter, though, and he misses the front end of his two attempts here. Uh, he's going to be a big one today for the Bisons. He's the tallest player on this roster at 6'11", and you said it, Sean, right? He can guard multiple positions with a team like Florida State. That's lengthy at the guard position and down low. He's going to have to move around throughout this game. Lead up to seven now for Lipscomb as Florida State looks to push, and Cody Head's going to get called for the reach. And if there's been one issue for Cody Head here in this first half, it's Ben getting into a little bit of foul trouble. That's going to be his second. Yeah, just a careless foul from Cody Head. Just no, no need for him to do that. Picks up his second. We've seen how important he has been to Lipscomb so far. He's going to take a seat, and A.J. McGinnis will check in. Get us the transfer from Cincinnati, whose career began at UNC Greensboro. Actually played Florida State at UNCG in the NCAA tournament a few years back. There's Deontay Green on the baseline with the jumper, and Florida State trims the lead down to five. Will Pruitt, nice pass. Beautiful look, back door. Will Pruitt just commanding this offense with ease, a little no-look bounce pass. Good one from number two. Spears, pull up, money. That's his spot right there, Sean. That's the third basket he's made almost from that exact same spot, right at the elbow, just past it. Mid-range primo. Those fans got to be happy to see him off to a hard, hot start, three of three from the field. Both teams have made their fair share of shots here in the first half. The lead bouncing back and forth now between five and seven. McGinnis now kicks it to Pruitt. Pruitt lines that up. He has been absolute money in this game. Whether he's been dishing out dimes or knocking down shots, Will Pruitt with a three-pointer. Said he does everything. He's a four-year starter for this program. He knows this offense, this team, this program through and through. He's putting it on display these past few possessions. Lipscomb's made four of their last five from the floor. The lead is eight. High low look. There's Pruitt laying it in. Who else? Well, Pruitt. Ten-point lead now for the Bison. It's the freshman Taylor Bowl, Bowen working with it on the right wing. Now it's Primo Spears on the left. Spears got into the middle of that zone defense, trying to kick it out to Nickelberry, who lost the handle. Darren Green Jr., spin move, it's short. That's a shot clock violation, and that'll send us to another media timeout. Lipscomb's lead has swollen to 10, courtesy of Will Pruitt. He's dishing out dimes, he's knocking down shots, and the Bisons out of the A-Sun are surging here in Florida's capital city. And Doug. And Doug says you can customize and save hundreds on car insurance with Liberty Mutual. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. Are you replacing me? With this guy? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Oh, look, a Bibu. <laughs> Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Our generation isn't turning away from the world's problems. Watch us fly ahead, rise to every challenge, and overcome anything. Watch us become the next greatest generation. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. All right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, oh Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, let's get that box. Almost showtime, I know. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy 
in a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. This isn't Charmin. No wonder I don't feel as clean. Hurry up, Dad. I'm trying. This cheap stuff is too thin. Here's Charmin Ultra Strong. Ah, my bottom's been saved. Woohoo! With its diamond weave texture, Charmin Ultra Strong cleans better with fewer sheets and less effort. What's everybody waiting for? This? We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? And for a shower fresh clean feeling, try Charmin Flushable Wipes. From friends coming over to moms coming over. So many ways to save. Life ready, wallet happy. That's 365 by Whole Foods Market. We take a look at how Lipscomb wants to run their offense. This is the basic of it right there. You see it starts at the top. They spread the perimeter as he drives to the lane. Look at three Florida State defenders converge all around him. Just leaves a wide open Will Pruitt in the corner. That's a good look, and that's the look that Lenny Acuff wants to get for his team. And that's how Florida State defense is going to react to the Bisons as they cause havoc down low. It's a Princeton offense for Lipscomb, and the basic tenet of it is that it's generally positionless, isn't it, Jack? Oh, absolutely. It allows players to play outside of their range. That's what helps when you have a player like Owen McCormick as a big down low who is a perimeter shooter in his own right. But you look at this team, they want to spread the floor. You see all of them right now outside on the perimeter, and they're just going to drive through and cut and open up things for the guys on the outside. And for Florida State, the objective is to fill all those spaces, all those gaps, get in the passing lanes like they so typically do. The Princeton offense, very pass-heavy, a lot of movement, a lot of cutting. And here's Spears on the other end, lining up the three. That's short. Here's Pruitt. He's been the hot hand. Pull up over the freshman, Taylor Ball Bowen. Weak side rebound. And McCormick puts it back up. Florida State cannot afford any of that. Cannot allow that if you are Florida State. Second chance points and just offensive rebounds in general. There's an uncovered man on the back door. That's an easy bucket for Lipscomb. FSU recorded the first six rebounds of the game. Had a 6-0 edge. It is now knotted up 13 apiece. Five of those are on the offensive glass. Taylor Bowl Bowen. It's a back out to Cam Corn corner. Couple steps inside the perimeter, misses. And back the other way comes Lipscomb, pushing pace themselves now. McGinnis brings it back out top, and they swing it around to Will Pruitt. Listen, they're slowing things down as they should right now. No reason to push, but for Florida State, you want to get a miss and a run in transition. And that's what Florida State likes to do. Lipscomb does a nice job of getting back on defense. That was one thing head coach Lenny Acuff told us. You got to keep the game in front of you. They don't want Florida State out and running. They've done a good job thus far. Pruitt all the way to the rim. That is no good. Nearly a second effort basket was put back up and through, but that misses as well. So Florida State got away with one there, and they'll try to trim into the lead here in this final minute of the half. Pruitt all alone. That's easy money right there. That's just getting back on defense. A little lazy from the Seminoles. Caught watching and Will Pruitt, veteran guard, taking advantage. Florida State's over last six. Two of their last ten. They are without a point in the last 343 here of the half. Pruitt was trying to dish that out to Ryland Houck who's going to drive baseline to the bucket, but skip that one into the Florida State bench. The Knowles will have an opportunity here with about a four-second differential between their shot and game clock. Forty-three twenty-nine Lipscomb. Florida State without a single point in the last four minutes and change. It'll be a big one here for the Knowles. Just net one, go into the half, try and recoup come out strong. The Bisons, meanwhile, on a 9-0 run over that period of time. Spears, pull up, got it! Here comes Anderson. 
the Bison still have time. Dish out to Pruitt. That's good. The hot hand will Pruitt. Why not 16 for the junior? They're going to go to the monitor to make sure he got that shot off. But in real time, that sure looked good. We'll take a look, so still. So just had an explanation. The shot clock was wrong, so it's starting back up again at 2.2 seconds. Florida State will get another look, and it goes in. Well, all right. No, absolutely, and you saw it on that little graphic right there. I mean, ASUM, or, they, or excuse me, Lipscomb, they're leading the ASUM in field goal percentage. They've scored over 80 points seven times this season and on their way to doing that again. They're just shooting well. Florida State's got to bunker down right now and play that junkyard dog defense that they play so well. Anderson, nice pass as McGinnis cuts to the basket. That was the look that Lipscomb no doubt wanted. They just did not cash it in. Perfectly executed from Lipscomb, but on the other side of the ball, Florida State fortunate to get an opportunity to cut that lead down. Watkins, zero step in the lane. He puts it up, and Florida State records the first bucket here in the second half. Well, listen, Jameer Watkins scored the first basket of the game for Florida State, that corner three, and had not scored since. He's been great this season for the Knowles, the second leading scorer on the team. He's got to get going in this second half if the Seminoles want to come back. Florida State likes to switch on defense for the moment. They've got Deontay Green on Will Pruitt. Now Pruitt's left alone up top. Green crashes in on him. That'll be a foul against Deontay. Fortunate foul for Deontay Green. Gives three shots to Will Pruitt. Here's another look. Green just crashing out and just invades the space. So obviously doesn't get a piece of Pruitt, but that's what they're doing now to protect the shooters, not landing where he is, and Green will pick up the foul. So that'll send Pruitt to the free throw line to shoot a handful of free throws here for the Bisons. First one up and good for Pruitt, the junior from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Guy has been the workhorse of this team. He leads them in minutes played. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, does a lot of hard work on the glass as a guard. Yeah, I love the averages. Just over one offensive rebound a game. And obviously that's not incredible number, right? But you love to see that from your guard crashing the glass, especially on the offensive side of the ball. So with those three free throw makes, Lead is 16, now make it 14 for Lipscomb. Baba Miller left all alone under the basket, and it's still shaking. That's what the Knowles needed, a little emphasis from Baba Miller slamming that home, cutting into this lead. Wing three is good. Owen McCormick, he made one in the first half, and he's got another one here in the second. He was the ASUM Newcomer of the Week a couple weeks ago in his performance versus Arkansas. Showing out a little bit today, 10 points for McCormick. Set it on two of three from behind the arc, stretching it well. Baba Miller off the side of the backboard, got back his own miss and finishes. Good job for Baba to hustle after the ball. Pruitt looking for the corner. Comes out with Florida State for the moment. Anderson, though, retreats, covers, and prevents a turnover. Only five turnovers in the first half for Lipscomb, and they eliminate one there and then cash it in with another wing three. How about Will Pruitt tying the season high? 22 points for the junior. Jameer Watkins in the lane, too strong. It comes with Pruitt and now Anderson. McGinnis left alone on the wing. That's good. Ripscombe's made. Threes are falling. Coach Acuff said he wanted around 12 to 14. They're sitting at eight now, draining it in the second half. Now 
was just about to say, they've made eight of 15. Worley gets the mid-range down. And Florida State gets back within now 20. It's amazing what Lipscomb has done here now, coming out of the locker room. McGinnis looking for some space, working on Jameer Watkins. Watkins trying to wrap around McGinnis, who floats it up in the lane. Offensive rebound, stick back attempt by McCormick is no good, but he will go to the free throw line. Lipscomb again, just the drive and kick, as we said before, enough space to create some separation for Pruitt. Again, another open look, A.J. McGinnis on the end of that one, and the threes are falling for the Bisons, but just on this last play, too, Sean McCormick. You had Baba Miller, Jalen Worley, and Deontay Green underneath, and McCormick's the one able to come away with the rebound, and now at the line. A Sun Newcomer of the Week just a few weeks ago. You mentioned it, Jack. Averaging 13 points per game between Arkansas and Bryan. Shot 53% from the floor. Averaged 4.6 rebounds. But in that game against Arkansas alone, 13 points and 12 rebounds against the Hogs out in Fayetteville. Just a tremendous showing by McCormick. Showing out as a late 13 in each of his last two games, has 12 here, Just continuing the hot streak. Darren Green Jr., nice pass to Jameer Watkins, fouled on the way up. A lot of contact, and both guys are shaking up, both Watkins and Owen McCormick. Watkins still down on the baseline, in fact. Hope to see Jameer Watkins okay. Just tough Watkins going up as McCormick is going down. I just took one in the face. Make sure he's all right. And so while Florida State takes a look at Jameer Watkins, we'll take a break right here on ACC NX. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. Ay. Está linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien. Ven, ven, hijita. Pasa, pasa. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Bye, bye, bye. Come on, let's go. Bye. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. That's true. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Ba -ba -ba -ba. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, it's checked by experts. Every stitch, tag, and logo. So you'll all... People want to define Gen Z, but that's our job. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While well, I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. All right. Who is my all time favorite receiver? Oh, oh, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome. Pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the one-minute pre-diabetes risk test today. Go to doihaveprediabetes.org. Welcome back to Tallahassee here on the ACC Network Extra, where Lipscomb leads at 60 to 39 over Florida State here at the Tucker Center. Things have been going well for the Bisons, 
except for this Jack, which was called a flagrant one. Yeah, they're actually just had Rep come over and explain to us that this will qualify for a flagrant one foul. So you see McCormick coming down with his body on to Jameer Watkins. That's enough to qualify it as a flagrant one and will result in two free throws for the Knolls. Two free throws and possession, if I'm not mistaken, yep. for Florida State. It'll be Jameer Watkins likely to do the honors here, the transfer from VCU, the guy who was the MVP of the Sunshine Slam. Tremendous showings against UNLV and Colorado. 37 combined points, 15 rebounds, 12 assists in a couple of games there in Daytona Beach for, again, Jameer Watkins, who makes the first of his free throws here on the backside of the flagrant one. Yeah, Watkins was great a season ago at VCU, now comes and takes his talents to Tallahassee, and he's only improved. He was known as that sort of Swiss Army knife at VCU, but he's done that exactly here for Leno Hamilton's crew. I mean, they've, he's been great early on. He currently leads Florida State in rebounds, assists, and steals, and he's a guy that Leonard Hamilton told me before the game, Jack, he said, look, it's hard to be in part of a system and then transfer schools and then have to learn an entirely new system. And he said, given time, he'll continue to adjust. He'll continue to smooth out some of that adjustment. And he said, frankly, when Florida State gets back to being Florida State, where they've got more of that depth, that will help too. Absolutely. And they've started to see the depth come back a little bit more and more as the season has progressed, but he's also playing a little bit of a different role, too. He's been playing more of a point forward role, handling the ball. Now that Primo Spears is back and playing, we've kind of seen that shy away a little bit. But still, yeah, a lot of a lot of time with the ball in his hands as Mere Watkins is high. Foul called on the floor against Jalen Worley for the shove on Anderson. Stands at 19 for Lipscomb. This We've is gone where, back to the monitor again. Yeah. Check in something out. Maybe again check in at that. Any sort of breaking or something on that foul. It's, it's be okay, just be an inbound for Lipscomb. But this is where Florida State Sean's gonna have to bunker down and really lock in defensively. It arguably might have been their best defensive game of the season a game ago versus Winthrop. 24 turnovers they forced. That's unbelievable take from Will Pruitt, a phenomenal shot blocker. And Jalen Ganey underneath, that's how you limit a great shot blocker. You invade their space, you take it right to him, and it's so hard for Ganey to get a piece of that. And Pruitt takes advantage. 21 now in the game for Pruitt. He's one shy of his season high, 22. And that foul on the floor will take us I believe to our media timeout, we'll see. All right, perhaps I stand corrected as Jameer Watkins steps in to shoot some free throws. Free throws there for Watkins, who's now made a handful here in this second half. We'll change up to want to see some more pressure from Florida State. You see it on and off throughout this game, but picking up full court, not letting it come easy to Lipscomb anymore. Knowles bring the double on the freshman Faulkner. Spears heavily guarding Will Pruitt, backing him out to the logo, and he'll be called for the bump. Got in there with the little hand check in the reach. I mean, you're saying, Sean, he was aggressive. He was out there, right? Not leaving any space for Will Pruitt to operate. Just a little too much from Primo. Fourth foul called against Florida State here in the second half. Now it's Anderson breaking it down, getting by Spears. That's a big swat by Jalen Ganey. And now here comes Florida State. They haven't had many chances to run the floor. They're trying to do so here. Instead, it's turned over. And here comes Lipscomb again. It was great to see from Ganey, him 
blocking some shots, averaged over two at Brown, only had three on this season. Hot pass to the corner and nobody was home except for a few fans in that front row. <laughs> Hopefully ready. Lead is 19 from Lipscomb. Spears with the kick to Darren Green Jr. From inside the free throw line, Green gets the roll. that pressure, Florida State bench up on their feet. Crowd starting to show a little bit more life, trying to still some energy into the Knowles. Pruitt steps to the right, now from the wing. That is strong, and Florida State brings down that rebound. Now in transition, Green Jr. from the corner, and there you have it. You can get in transition in ways other than turnovers, and that's Florida State running the floor off a hard rebound. That big good job from Coach Acuff to call a timeout, stop the momentum, but Florida State, big shot. So we're down 34 to zero. Winning will be tough. That's why I brought in the E specialist. Right, Geico makes car insurance easy. With the Geico app, you can check your policy on the go and get access to 24 seven claim support. Closer. With your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. You never know what the weather will bring. Rain-X water repellency wiper blades apply the magic of Rain-X to your windshield, so water beads up and flies away. The improved water beading technology lasts longer, so you see clearly season after season. Let the weather drive you inside? Never. Rain-X. Outsmart the elements. Find Rain-X water repellency wiper blades at these retailers. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I stopped a thousand attackers. At a natural disaster. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, I know. Oh, no. Bye, bye, guys. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddy. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. Uh, Coming to you from Frost Way, with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. All right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, oh, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Seven zero run for Florida State in the last minute and 35 seconds. And in so doing, Jack, this is how I'd describe it. In the last minute and a half, they've played Florida State basketball. They've played Florida State basketball indeed. It's their first fast break point of the game to Darren Green, that three-pointer. But that's the style of basketball Tallahassee knows so well. Defense turning into offense. Florida State has extended the pressure out into the full court, got a big offensive rebound, then ran the floor to find Green in the corner. 4-3, that's the last three of that 7-0 run. Now the Knowles bring the double in the paint. There's a block by Taylor Bowl. Bowen at Karam's out of play. But another quality defensive play by Florida State. It looks like it will, in fact, be a turnover. Yep, and just becoming a little bit more accustomed to how Coach Acuff wants to play with his squad and what we've seen with that Princeton offense driving in and kicking it out to the perimeter. Florida State doing a better job filling those gaps in the space, making it a little bit more difficult. 
Good couple of games coming into this one for Taylor Bowl. Bowen set a career high in points a couple of games ago against North Florida. Also set a career high in rebounds, which he matched against Winthrop and then led the team in blocks with three against Winthrop. Love to see that from Bowl. He's just a big man that moves like a guard. I mean, it's kind of majestic on the court to watch him. But he's been playing great as of late. Lone freshman making it happen for Florida State. And that is a look that Lipscomb wanted and Florida State could not afford. McGinnis just had simply too much space on the wing. Watkins working down low. Nice passing by Florida State. Spears freezes with it in the corner for a second. Now the dribble penetration. That has been his spot. Primo Spears has filled it up for the mid-range for the Knowles. Yeah, also right there, just the pick and pop with Primo, with Primo Spears. That's where he was so effective at Georgetown. Bringing the big man up, coming off that screen, and he's just able to elevate from the mid-range above his defender, creating them space and put the shot in. Quick hands by Jameer Watkins, swatting that ball away. Darren Green Jr. comes away with the steal, and now McGinnis clears the glass for Lipscomb. Fifteen point lead for the Bisons. That's where it was at the half. Faulkner to McGinnis, looking for three more. Too strong, but there to clean things up on the offensive glass. A couple of freshmen. Second effort, Faulkner. Third effort, Houck, and Houck gets it to go. See a couple of those today, Sean, where Lipscomb just seems to be free underneath on the offensive glass and able to capitalize. Certainly were as Jameer Watkins is fouled driving to the basket. Florida State will shoot a couple of free throws when we come back on the backside of these messages. Greatness is a feeling. Fearless. Brotherhood. Greatness is more than winning the game. It's changing it. Greatness is what we do. Accomplish greatness. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm estará ahí las 24 horas si los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. Ay. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. People want to define Gen Z, but that's our job. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. Oh. There's a little bit Coming to you from Frost Way, with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Champions are not born. They're made of moments. At Liberty University, we push ourselves in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in the community to go beyond our limits and reach the world for Christ. Every play made, every assignment completed, and each friendship formed is a testament to our dedication to that mission. These moments matter and make us champions. Become a champion for Christ at Liberty University. Back here in Tallahassee, Florida State trails by 17 with 11 and a half left. But Jack Cavavit 
Primo Spears has been a bright spot for the Knolls today. He has now at double digits in every game he's played for the Knolls. But get excited, Knolls fans. This is what Primo Spears does so well. Coming off the ball screen, high up from Corrin, able to float around it, rise up, and make the bucket. Here it is again from Deontay Green. Just enough space to hesitate his defender. Is he going to drive? Is he going to stay? He has that quick first step to able to keep the defender on their heels. And that's where Primo Spears can be deadly from the mid-range. He showed it off today, five of six from the field at 10 points. One of the more prolific scorers in the Big East, in fact, led Georgetown in points per game, also dished out over five assists per game for the Hoyas. And then you go back to his freshman year at Duquesne, he led them in scoring as a freshman. And so the two-time transfer was forced out for a while earlier this year. And you know, Jack, he told me a week or so ago when I chatted with him, he said, you know, he found out the day before they played SMU, hey, you're good, you're in, you're gonna get to play. He said, coach pulled him out in the middle of a film meeting and broke the news to him and said, you're good to go, we're gonna play you. He said it was a big rush of emotion, largely because it was the first time that he can really recall in his life that he has been forced away from the game. And so while he has, to his credit, been part of that practice team, that scout team, working against his teammates in practices, there's still some competitive rust there, despite that now, in double figures in all four games as an old. Absolutely, and you mentioned it too, Sean, the practices, right? You imagine it for a player of his caliber, you know, he's still showing up to shoot arounds and practices, and you're playing with the team, you just can't get the live reps and play in the game and what that can do to a player, you know, we don't know, but it's great to see him back out here now in his fourth game with the Knolls. And he's showing out. He did it in the Big East last year, which is as tough as a conference as they come. And Primo showing off for Florida State today. What a quality pass by McCormick. Cody Head couldn't cash it in, but that was a real nice behind the back look. Two head down low as Cameron Corn fights for space down on the baseline. And I believe they'll catch Cody Head for the foul. Corn will shoot two, only 10 minutes for him in this game, so easing him back in from that toe injury. But again, good to see him out there. Curious to see how Coach Ham will rotate the bigs now with a healthy Corn, Deontay Green, and Jalen Ganey. When healthy, Cam Corn has proven that he can be a special guy for Florida State. Had a double-double on the road in Gainesville, also set a career high in points, scored against the Gators when he recorded 18 at the O-Dome a couple of hours down the road. And so the journey really today, beginning for Cam Corn to work his way back to that level, and of course with plenty of time left in his career, hopefully for him, beyond. He's going to be great for Florida State as a, as a three-level a player. He's, you got a guy like Owen McCormick for, let's go back and stretch it out as a perimeter big, and Cam Corn has the ability to do the exact same thing. This free throw trims the lead back down to 15 again. That's where it stood at the half after the officials waved off what looked like could have been a buzzer beater for Darren Green Jr. Cody Head was the hot head early for Lipscomb, and now here's Florida State looking to run. Who else but Primo Spears with the right hand. The Knowles tried to clean it up and could not. And now here comes Lipscomb running back the other way with Anderson. McGinnis for three more. Got them all. Oh, Coach Acuff loved that one. The possession before you take the shot clock all the way down. No rush at all. Then you get a stop, and then you push it quick and hit a three. Big time points from Lipscomb. And just like that, the lead swells to 18 for the Bisons. And you saw it there, Sean. What you would have never thought before this game. Lipscomb, 14 fast break points in this one. McGinnis able to get on the end of that three-pointer. Florida State just hasn't been able to get out and transition like they normally do so well. Spears has it on the wing. Florida State operating now with 10 left on their shot clock. Chandler Jackson pulls up from three and he got all of those. Of that, five for 20 on the year he is from behind the arc, but stepped in, no hesitation, shot that, able to connect. He's a guy that Primo Spears, again, when I chatted with him last week, he said Chandler Jackson has been shooting the ball well in the gym, and that's a good look of perhaps what number zero in white can do for the Knolls. Now look, Orange is able to trap McGinnis in on enough space. 
for Chandler Jackson to let it fly. Now, speaking of Spears, who I was just talking about, he was called for the foul on the floor. That'll be the fifth against Florida State. Each team with five fouls here in the second half. Head in the paint, nice extra pass. McCormick though, short on the lay-in attempt, but there's Hauk on the weak side, cleaning it up, Florida State fortunate there to come away with a stop. Here you go, this is if you're Florida State now, gotta get in some offense, get a couple of points and look to go on a run. There's the couple of points you just described. Primo Spears has been the hot hand here, especially over the last few minutes for the Knowles. No need to fear, Primo Spears is here. And really for the first time since the first minutes since the half, Florida State has trimmed into that halftime lead for Lipscomb. There's a steal. Chandler Jackson and the Knowles looking to run the floor. Pass to the corner, now back up top. Jackson now swinging it to Baba Miller. Bounce pass, Cam Korn down low is short. And a foul called on the floor. That's a great job on that play from Baba Miller, actually. He's the one that drew that foul. That's just him crashing the glass and looking to be an option for Cam Korn to dish into the lane. Cam Korn, here's, here's the whole play. The Knowles doing a good job reversing the ball, getting Lipscomb on their toes. You see Baba just cut to the basket right there, being an option, takes the bump, able to draw the foul. Still one foul to give for Lipscomb, so Florida State will have to send this in on an inbounds play. Next one will put the Knowles in the bonus. They get it into Josh Nickelberry, the transfer from LaSalle. Here's Spears, pull up once again, this time banking off the glass. Nickelberry crashes in for the offensive rebound. Big one for the Knowles here with eight minutes left. Here's Darren Green with some dribble penetration, but turns it over, and Cody Head comes away with a big steal for the Bisons. A big steal for the Bisons. It just seemed like the momentum was starting to build for Florida State. You can feel the energy in the tuck starting to build. Good job from the Bisons. Grab the stop. McCormick looking to turn the corner on Ganey. Ganey now switches on to head and McCormick rolling to the basket, lost the handle. Last touch by a goal though as it caroms out of play. Five on the shot clock for Lipscomb who leads by 13. USAA? Yeah, they have awesome rates on coverage for our car, home, and stuff. She has a lot of stuff. Dad. A lot of cool stuff, honey. But USAA also has banking, credit cards, and loans plus advice and other perks. Only for emergencies. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and it's all in one spot. So we know she's all set because we've got USAA. USAA, more than you might think, for the military community and their families. We get how uncertain the future is. We've come of age in a complex world, face to face with problems we didn't create. So what's going to happen next? We are. Because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. right and you get my free ticket to tonight's game right. who is my all-time favorite receiver oh, oh, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald yes Larry Fitzgerald 
Hey, it's true. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Point lead for the Bisons here in Tallahassee, and Lipscomb has certainly challenged themselves in the non-conference, and those efforts have paid off. They've taken on a number of NCAA tournament caliber teams, including taking on and taking down UNC Asheville in the Northern Classic in Montreal. Yeah, pretty cool to play that game up in Canada. You see the star of that one, Will Pruitt, who's having a good day for himself here down in Tallahassee, but a number of teams too, Sean. We've mentioned it already today, a close game with Belmont, one that they thought they could have had, and then facing off with Eric Musselman's crew in Arkansas, another game down the stretch. They had plenty of shots to put that game away, just weren't able to do so. Heavy pressure on the inbounds for Florida State. Cody Head tried to beat the buzzer. The runner does everything but drop. And now here's Florida State with a chance to trim even further into a lead that's been over 20 at points. But Primo Spears couldn't get the teardrop to fall. I think Pruitt maybe got a finger in the eye, something like that. He's squinted and grabbing at his eye. Now in the half court set, Pruitt working downhill off Florida State, could not get the roll. No points in the last three minutes now for Lipscomb. Jameer Watkins working downhill. And that will be an and one. Got the bounce, got the roll. And Watkins will head back to the charity stripe for the old fashioned three point play. Good job, Jameer Watkins. Lowering the shoulder a little bit, initiating the contact. Able to put it up and in. A big shot for the Seminoles. Here they come, starting to build some momentum. You said it, Sean. A over a three-minute scoring drought for Lipscomb right now. This is the time where the Knolls have to take advantage. So far, they're on a 7-0 run over the last 255, while Lipscomb, over that same stretch, is 0 for their last four. One of their last seven as well are the Bison. So it's been a tough stretch even beyond that scoreless drought for Lipscomb. 10-point lead now on the road. This is as low as it's been since the first half. Pruitt doing everything he can to fight off a triple team. And that'll be a foul called against Florida State. They're going to call it on Jameer Watkins as Florida State would have wanted that to have been called a tie-up. Yeah, fans in the tuck not happy with that. It's a good job. The ball got in the ground. And just Florida State able to converge around Pruitt. They're trying to get the jump ball. It looked like they had it. Just unfortunate for Jameer Watkins. He's called with his third of the game. But to make matters worse, the possession arrow pointing to Florida State. Pruitt looking for space in the corner. Now dishing it back out top to Anderson. Anderson. Now to Pruitt. Off the shot thing. Five on the shot clock. Pruitt. That'll be a shot clock violation. This is tremendous defense here from Florida State. Some of their best work of this entire game coming over the last four minutes. Jameer Watkins, two blocks a game ago, and with authority on that one, big one for the Knowles. Can the Knowles make it a single digit deficit with roughly six minutes left here in regulation? Spears looking for three, too strong. It up pretty well, just too much mustard on that shot attempt. Now back the other way comes Anderson, the point guard. Asman. And the Bisons work with Anderson now in the paint. And Pruitt's got it on the left wing. Asman's going to call his own number in and out. Still no points for Lipscomb now over the last four and a half minutes. Spears working downhill will earn a trip to the free throw line. One of the last nine from the field is Lipscomb. Primo Spears will go to the line for two and try to cut this lead to single digits. Spears had been perfect from the free throw line going into their last game against Winthrop. Missed a couple against the Eagles, but there's money there on that one. Every opportunity, every point 
for Florida State. It is going to be massive. FSU on a seven game homestand. This is game number four. Their next three conference games will also be here in the Tucker Center. A real chance for the Knowles to string together some wins if they can grab some momentum. And there's a steal. Watkins and company coming back the other way. Green, three, strong. There's that momentum you were just talking about, Sean. Looked like this place was about to erupt if Darren Green just put that in. Feeling it though, crowd is starting to get into it. The loudest they've been in some time as Pruitt tries to break it down off the dribble. Out of play, last touch by Cam Corin. Florida State on a 10-0 run over the last five minutes of action. Lipscomb without a point in the last 5-15. Listen, can't have that same set. Florida State let up a four on the back door. Spears trying to steal that ball away from McCormick. Big offensive rebound by Pruitt. That's a fresh 20. McGinnis lines up a tray. That is strong, and McCormick crashing in on the glass, trying to secure a third opportunity, knocked it over the baseline. And head coach Lenny Acup looking over at McGinnis right there. He told us before the game, he's fine with his team shooting 33 pointers as long as they're good shots. That one right there from McGinnis, you get the offensive rebound, you get a reset, no reason to rush right now. You're leading by eight, under five away from home. That's a shot you don't need to take right there. And showing a little frustration after was coach Acuff and now Darren Green will shoot too. I didn't even catch the fact that there was a foul called on Asman. I was watching McCormick crash in there and trying to extend that possession and completely missed the fact that Asman was called for a foul on Darren Green Jr. Florida State now in the bonus, shooting the one and one. Green making the first and the second. Two big free throws for Darren Green Jr. And Florida State keeps that momentum rolling. 12-0 run over the last five minutes. 14 to three run over the last over the last 6:45. Pruitt to Asman to the logo and Anderson. Corn tried to come away with the steal off the corner. Ten left for Lipscomb, and a reach will be called against Florida State. That will put the Bisons in the bonus. against Cam Corn. Corn having a good conversation right now, just trying to figure out exactly what he was doing underneath aggressive defense from the sophomore. I think just a little too much the arm checks. Shoving down McCormick. Oh, McCormick coming into today an 84.6% foul shooter. That's a big first free throw make, their first point. In quite some time, still though, the Bison's without a field goal in nearly six minutes. And that's now equally a big miss for a guy who usually makes 85% of his free throws. Seven point lead. Watkins working on McCormick. And McCormick will be called for the foul. Watkins, who's been pretty good from the free throw line here today for Florida State, will shoot a couple more. Far the most trips to the line. Seven attempts already at the line. Does Watkins have? Good job just taking it downhill. Able to draw the foul. Game starting to slow down a little bit, coming into these final minutes of the second half. Jamal Watkins is six for seven from the free throw line in this game to this point. He has 13 points in the game, nearly half of them coming from the charity stripe. And it's nearly all of them coming in the second half as well. Yeah. Yep, it's a veteran taking over late. As we take a look at Florida State has done in the first and the second half respectively. 13 main field goals in the first 10 more here in the second, but the free throws, they've been getting to the free throw line and then making those shots, Jack. Yep, and that was a big thing a game ago versus Winford. That was their season high, 30 free throws made on 42 attempts. The first time all year they had been over 20 free throws made in a game. You'll like to see that from the Seminoles getting downhill, getting to the basket. 
Got the roll on the first free throw there. Florida State now in the double bonus, by the way, so they will be shooting two free throws for the balance of regulation, and perhaps if we get their overtime, we'll see how these next 426 play out first, though. What a second half for Watkins, and what a comeback this could be for Florida State, who have trimmed the lead down to five. Keep in mind, this is a Lipscomb team that once led in this second half by as much as 21 points. They led 62-41. It is now down to 71-66. And here comes that pressure once again for Florida State. And with the immediate timeout approaching the last of the game, just need to look for a stop here for the Knowles. Pruitt working on Jackson. Pruitt spun. Looking for somebody, he found Primo Spears. Here comes Spears and the Knowles lobbing it up off the backboard. Just unfortunate, that's maybe just a little bit of disconnection. Primo Spears has yet to play with Cam Core and he's been out and Primo now back, so that chemistry will build over time. Anderson inside to Pruitt. That no good, but what a follow by Dylan Faulkner. How about that? The freshman making it happen. The biggest bucket of the game for him. And how big that bucket is for Lipscomb as a team who had been without one for, gosh, seven or so minutes in this second half. Lead up to seven. Does Florida State have an answer? Spears did everything but drop. And a foul called, I believe, on the floor against Cam Corn. That'll take us to immediate timeout. All of a sudden, we got a pretty tight ball game here at the top. USAA? Yeah. They have awesome rates on coverage for our car, home, and stuff. She has a lot of stuff. Dad. A lot of cool stuff, honey. But USAA also has banking, credit cards, and loans. Plus advice and other perks. Only for emergencies. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and it's all in one spot. So we know she's all set because we've got USAA. USAA, more than you might think, for the military community and their families. You never know what the weather will bring. Rain-X water repellency wiper blades apply the magic of Rain-X to your windshield so water beads up and flies away. The improved water beading technology lasts longer so you see clearly season after season. Let the weather drive you inside? Never. Rain-X. Outsmart the elements. Find Rain-X water repellency wiper blades at these retailers. So you're looking for a university that has anything you could possibly need. Anything? Somewhere you can hike, slide, climb, and most importantly, eat. And all that with a great view? Yeah. I think I know a place. Bye. A place. Buddies, I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, buddies, get that box. Almost showtime, my lord. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. There he is, buddies. Get him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that box is for everybody. <laughs> There's a little McNugget in everyone. That's true. Coming to you from Frost Way with a buddy and a meal in every box. The Kerwin Frost Box. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or just in time for the holidays, get 8,000 total value for current eligible GMC owners. That's 15% below MSRP on select 2023 Sierra models. We are professional brand GMC. We welcome you back to the Donald L. Tucker Center here in Tallahassee, Florida, where the Seminoles are amid a furious rally, having trailed by as many as 21. They now trail by seven. So glad to have you with us. Sean Davison, Jack Cavavit here with you at the Donald L. Tucker Center in Florida's capital city. Wow. Looks like Dylan Faulkner is going to shoot some free throws and Cimarron's going to continue to sled down the railing. And 
We're going to have three minutes and ten seconds of what's going to be some really enticing basketball. There's no doubt about it, Jack. Florida State riding a big wave of momentum, but Lipscomb is really doing a nice job now trying to stem that here over the last couple of possessions. And yeah, that was a massive bucket for Dylan Faulkner on that put back dunk to just kind of seize the moment a little bit and stop that momentum that Florida State was feeling and really run with in the last couple of minutes. He drew the foul on the defensive end as well. Worth noting, Lipscomb still in the bonus, not yet in the double bonus, so that front end miss on the one and one means that's it. And now Florida State resumes with a chance to trim into the lead as Spears nearly lost his footing. Watkins driving baseline, will earn another trip to the free throw line. Wanted the and one, didn't get the roll, but will head back to the charity stripe nonetheless. Good job from Jameer Watkins, drawing attention, able to hang in the air just enough, couldn't get the ball up over the rim, but two shots for two. That'll be the third personal foul called against the freshman Dylan Faulkner, who stepped up big time here in crunch time for Lipscomb. Watkins has done so as well, but for Florida State, he's made a bunch of free throws, done a good job of getting downhill, Jack, and creating some opportunities. Yeah, and, and, and again, most of this has all been in, this, in, in the second half. He's really come on strong in just the last six or seven minutes or so as well. Jameer Watkins really doing it all for Florida State. A couple more free throw makes for number two in white for Florida State. Watkins really spurring the Knolls on as they bring the press once more on Lipscomb. Something to note as well for Lipscomb. Cody Head back in the game. We were just talking about it off air. Four fouls for him right now. He started off hot 4-4 four, four in the game. Haven't seen much of him since. There is Head working with it on the wing. Knolls bring the double. McCormick swings it to the corner and out of play. That's another turnover by Lipscomb with a five-point lead. 11th turnover of the game for Lipscomb. It's a Florida State team that forced 24 a game ago versus Winthrop. Here the leading scorers, Jameer Watkins, Primo Spears, Darren Green leading the way for the Knowles. Watkins approaching his season high of 19 as Spears spins in the lane. That is knocked out of play. Last touch by, I believe, McCormick. Looks like it actually may stay the side. The official pointed Florida State's way, actually. Yeah, that's need. right. Off the inbounds, Florida State has 20 to work with. Jameer Watkins brings it up. Chandler Jackson, strong take to the basket. Quality follow by Cam Corrin. And folks, we have a one-score game. That's where Corrin comes in so big for the Knowles. Second on this team a season ago in rebounds. They missed him. He comes up big on that possession. Anderson looking for space. Corrin on him. Now up top, McCormick guarded by Chandler Jackson. Head. Swings it to McGinnis. McGinnis steps to the left. Three ball, good! Well, A.J. McGinnis making up for that shot he took before. Coach Acuff wasn't that happy. I know he's definitely happy about that one. Knowles work into the middle of the zone. Kick it out. Chandler Jackson looking for three. That's strong, but he collects his own miss. Fresh opportunity for Florida State. Primo Spears drives to the basket. Good court vision by Primo Spears getting two out of that possession. So good from Primo Spears. The start stop ability that he possesses is just enough to freeze his defender right into the lane. Florida State nearly collected a steal off the inbounds play. Lipscomb was able to advance it into the half court set. One minute left here in regulation as Anderson dribbles it away. Anderson, McCormick, back to Anderson. What a block by Watkins, but there to follow is Pruitt. Incredible hustle on that play from Jameer Watkins, but how about that from the Bisons? Little pick and roll action. Joe Anderson and McCormick just fooling the defense. I mean, getting the defender up in the air and just an easy bounce pass in and up. As it was called on the floor, though, the follow not necessary. They're going to go ahead and credit Anderson for the layup. They're going to say it was goaltending by Florida State. That extends the lead to six for Lipscomb as our officials go back to the monitor once again. It's been a long day's work for Bill Covington, Tommy Morrissey, and Mark Schnur. 
they've done a lot of really good work today, and they've had to clarify a lot of calls, and, and they've earned their paychecks today for sure. Oh, no doubt about that. I mean, we had the three, half court three from Darren Green at the half, a, a flagrant foul. It's been all back and forth action, but the referees have done a great job in this one. So either way, it looked like Lipscomb was destined to tack on a couple more. They're going to go ahead and give it to Anderson off of a goaltending call against Florida State. So that Pruitt follow, as good as it was, unnecessary for the Bisons to cash in a couple more. And now Florida State will send it in down six with 50 seconds remaining. Spears brings it up. Now it's Watkins from the corner. That's short. Anderson didn't need to touch that. That was caroming out of play anyway. And for Florida State, that's good news. That is really fortunate for Florida State. You know, time is obviously not your friend right now, winding down, but you don't have to take that shot if you're Jameer Watkins. You can be a little bit more patient, wait to take a little bit more time off the clock, but wait for that good look. Florida State's gonna call a 30-second timeout. We're gonna take it with them here on ACC NX. done the hard part. You quit smoking. Now do the easy part and get scanned for lung cancer. If you smoked, you may still be at risk, but early detection could save your life. Talk to your doctor and learn more at savedbythescan.org. Estaremos ahí por si le pasa algo a tu auto en este día especial. Mamá, para eso tengo State Farm. Es que es peligroso manejar en carretera. Si pasa algo, le mando un texto a mi agente. Tranquilos. State Farm está ahí las 24 horas y los necesito. 24 horas. Ay. Ay. Está linda como siempre. Ay, qué bien, 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 hijita. Pasa. Amor, como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Consider the opportunities Lipscomb has had. What a win would mean for Lenny Acuff, who looks on from that visitor's sideline. Green off the inbounds, could not get it to go. Foul called on the floor underneath the basket. We'll see who, in fact, it'll be called on. Looks like it'll be on McCormick, which means a couple of free throws are coming up here for Cam Corn. Again, Florida State in the double bonus. A chance here with 39 seconds roughly left here in regulation to trim into the lead. Now four fouls against the corner. A couple of guys on the floor at the moment for Lipscomb with four fouls. He and Cody Head each. Both guys have done good work today, both in double figures in the scoring column, but both are going to have to be especially careful over the last 39 or so seconds. Florida State got it off the miss, and Watkins will shoot a couple more. Wow, a massive rebound for Jameer Watkins, just going right into that Swiss Army knife roll that we talked about with him. So good on the glass, able to hustle in and get the board. If you're Florida State, the way this guy has operated here in the second half, you wouldn't trust anybody more. Watkins against UNLV in Daytona is his season high with a free throw make here. He will equal that and bring it back to a one score game. Got it. Timeout on the floor. Boy, what a game. <laughs> what a game is right for the team of in the first half, 46 points for the Bisons. It looked like they were well on their way to 80. They, they still may eclipse that mark. But again, this was a team that led by 21 points in the second half. Florida State has bit and clawed their way back into this one. Three-point game. 
They've been outscored 34 to 16 since they had that 21 point lead. You mentioned the 80 points, Jack. They've scored 80 or more seven times this season. And as we take a look at what they've done in the first half and the second half, there you see 46, 32, 18 made shots in the first half to 10 here in the second. Jack, if you're Lipscomb, what are you going to try to draw up here? There's still going to be a 7.4 second differential, even if you milk all 30 seconds off here. Yeah, you just got to be smart with the ball, right? You're not trying to force anything up right now. You have the lead. Let Florida State come to you. It all starts with this inbound, though. Florida State is aggressive. Obviously, they're going to be pressing right now, making it difficult. You got to get the ball inbound, get it over the half line, start your offense. Second matchup in the last three years between Lipscomb and Florida State. The Moles won it a couple of years ago, 90 to 67 over the Bisons. To find the most recent matchup before that, you have to go back to the 50s when they split a couple back then. The Moles lead the all-time series two to one. Heavy pressure on the inbounds here by the Moles, and Lipscomb gets it into Anderson. Anderson back over to Pruitt, and they bring it up into the half-court set. There is about a six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. So the Seminoles opting not to foul right now. Through it, no rush to shoot. No need to foul if you're Florida State. Through it, dishing it. Asman blocked by Watkins. Here comes Florida State with an opportunity. Green Jr. for three, short. And Lipscomb is going to hang on at the tuck. What a finish, Sean. Wow. Unbelievable block.